Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Sky Factory. As you can tell, it's raining and I'm holding netherrack. Now what do those two things have to do with each other, you may ask? Well, if we go in and we place three netherrack, a blaze rod, and a flint, we get a rain shield. Now the nice thing about the rain shield is you plop it down and all of a sudden no more rain. Uh, now, as far as I know, these things will run out eventually. I don't know exactly what it looks like when it runs out. Uh, but expect to see more of these in the future for videos, because I'm really tired of all the rain that you get here. Like, we're in a forest biome, and it rains, like, every day. But, on to what we're actually doing. We're going to be doing a lot of magic stuff, and then a little bit with our power generation. Uh, if we look in the box, you can see everything on the right is for power generation. Everything on the left is for magic. So the first thing you see is elven spreaders, which we need the elementium ingots for. Uh, let's see, elementium ingots and I think the mana tablet will do, which I think we need the mana pearl for. So we'll do both of those first. Uh... Oh, and since we're here, we got legendary loot bags. Got a couple more of those out of our creeper spawner, or not our creeper, our mob spawner. We got a chance icosahedron. Oops. Uh, and a magic bean. I don't know what the magic bean does. The chance thing is like a chance cube. It just has, I think, different options. Like it does bigger and badder things. And then our other one, we get uh, bog standard golden apple. All right, well, can't win them all. Okay, so... Elven spreaders, right? Normally, you need to have the portal up and running, which I should have enough magic in there now. Really? I put, like, this is almost half full. What about this one? That one's almost half full. You're almost got one bar. You almost got one bar. I have a feeling then that just the pools aren't close enough to it. But unfortunately, until I make the mana tablet, I have no way of pulling the mana out of there, and it would all go to waste if I broke it. So after we make the tablet, I might see about moving these a little closer, because I don't know what the range on the mana spreader is, but it's usually pretty good. But for the elven mana spreaders, anyway, normally for them, you need the elementium ingots. Normally, the way you get it is you throw mana steel into the elven portal, and they'll give you an elementium ingot. I, thankfully, I have an elementium chicken uh which saves me a lot of time in a lot of different areas well not so much the elementium but the chickens in general so what we need is i'll just take i'll just grab a stack of that <clears throat> is we will need one two three four is you make them the same way as a uh oh shit as a normal mana spreader uh, as you can see also, I put a bunch more leaves in here. In fact, I even have some that are, like, full up. Uh, because I've been using the uh, Mystical Flower Essence over there. I didn't get to all of them. But I did get quite a few uh, going in there. So, you make it the same, except that instead of a full sea of living wood, you replace the middle bit with an Elementium ingot. And then other than that, it's not exactly the same what the fuck how do you make i could whoops and i spelt 11 instead of elven that is a oh shit you need dream wood for the elven ones not and how do you make dream wood <laughs> oh you need to throw living wood in okay shit okay well we definitely have the living wood to throw in once we actually do it or once we get this portal working so we'll save those over there, and we'll do the mana tablet instead. Uh, wow, I got egg on all over my face there. Okay, so for a mana tablet, okay, that's what I thought. It's just six, seven, eight. Whoops, there we go. Doink, and in the middle, there we go. So now the mana tablet is how you use most of the stuff that you can build using the Batania stuff. It's so like there's a bunch of wands in that you can build and you use it using the mana tablet. So if you walk up to a uh, mana pool, you'll see that it shows a mana tablet there with an arrow pointed towards it from a mana pool. That means that if you take the mana tablet and you throw it in, it will absorb the mana out of the pool and put it into the tablet. 
Uh, you can change that so that it goes the other way, and then you could throw a tablet into it. Oh, that should be all of it. Yeah. And then you could throw a tablet into it, and it will... Uh... Oh, thank God, that actually broke. And it will put the mana back. Now, as you can see, uh, it doesn't hold a full mana pool. Okay, so how close do you think I would need this to be? I mean, it said it could be an 11 by 11, but apparently that's not true. Also, as you can see, I put way more pure daisies down as I was trying to get a bunch of living rock and living wood built up just so that they were ready to go. Okay, so if I put another pool, do you think that would be... I'll take out this pure daisy and stick it there, and we'll see if... Uh, is it making it there? Okay, let's see. Can that make it to... Is it really hitting the torch? Oh, man. It, it was. All right. Good to know. Torches apparently screw up mana spread. Mana burst. Fuck. Dumbass thing to do. Okay, so if I put that there... I'll just slap another one over there. I'll fix this later. Okay, that goes back in there. And then if I shift click it, yeah, there we go. Take the mana tablet out, toss it in there. Oops, missed. Ah, there we go. So now I think, yeah, it slowly drains it. Oh, look at it fill up, it's so nice. Okay, so that should be empty now. Uh, not quite, almost. I need it to be empty, because if I'm going to move all these closer, it will definitely need to be empty, because otherwise it's not going to absorb all, enough of the stuff. Uh, okay, is this one set the right way? It is not. There we go. So the way that you do that is you shift-click it, by the way. To, ch oh, fuck. <sighs> to change which direction it's going. Okay, so while that's doing that, I will do that. And try I really like the animations that they did, like all the little like lightning bolts and that that come out of it. Uh, it's very cool. Okay, and thankfully, if I'm gonna move them to be, oh, god damn it, I have too much shit down here. If I'm gonna move them to all be the same distance apart, at least I have flowers marking each of them. Okay, go. That fill up. Check to see if I have any more. Okay, all of my light seems to be good. Wait for the lightning bolts to finish. Okay, there we go. Oh, not the crafting table and the stick. It may not transfer, I guess these weren't full anyway. Okay, now this one I am not so sure about. Because uh, I don't know if that mana tablet will be able to hold an entire one. So I may have to like just make another pool. And then uh, transfer as much over and then like just transfer it like that. Uh, which, I don't know, oh, I guess it is. It's almost empty. It might actually all fit in that tablet. Oh yeah, look at that. It totally fit in the tablet. I honestly didn't expect that to. So I think the tablet can hold half a pool then by the looks of it. Okay, hopefully this will get picked up. It, of course, did not. One second. Okay, so I just went and got another thingy, by the way. Okay, and this one needs to be my alchemy catalyst one. Well, I guess it technically doesn't need to be, but you know. Okay, and then while that's doing that, Break that, toss it down next to it, and then there it is. Okay, making sure. Oh, I don't know if that's actually. Eh, there we go. That looks better, because those are getting, like, I think technically that would still go into it because it's saying, like, the bottom of it, but I would much. I feel much better with it going like that. Okay, so is that good? Looks like it. Yep. All right. So, while I was making the Alchemy Catalyst, I realized that the 11 by 11 probably didn't mean like 11 from that block. It probably meant 
like said like from this block I'd probably be able to go out five it's like if we go one two three four five and then one two three four five so I think this is actually like on the money like one three four five one two three four five one one two three four five one two three four five I'm just checking because while I think the daisies were spaced properly It's always good to double check, especially shit like that. Awesome. So all of my, so the mana tablet actually held enough. So I think, as you can see, there are mana tablets here, but there isn't like any upgrades for them. You just have a mana tablet. That's it. Uh, like the spreaders, obviously you can have elven spreaders. You can have stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's correct. And I'll need to bind you to there, bust you, put you there, and there we go. Okay. Uh, but there's no tablet. There is three of them in there. It's because there's an empty one, a full one, and then a creative one. And I think the creative one is just as, that was a weird lighting effect there. As you can imagine, it probably just has infinite mana in it. Okay. So I'm going to assume now that this is now correct. And I should have enough mana to open up this stupid portal now. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, that's better. So now that it's open, it actually, see, as you can tell, it didn't, since it was split between all four pools, uh, it didn't take nearly as much as you would think to open it. Um, uh, okay, so I still need my dream wood, which requires living wood, so I need six per spreader, and I need four spreaders, so I need 24 living wood. Uh, now, every time that I throw something through the portal, I throw it through, and boop, it pops out another one. And you can jump through it and everything, because it can't teleport you through. Uh, and every time that you throw something through, there we go, uh, <laughs> you get another item in return. Now, that's not entirely accurate, but every time you throw something through that uh, can be traded, uh, it takes mana. It's, once again, the cost of however much it takes, which generally isn't very much, is spread between however many pools with the nature of pylons are around it. Now, there are certain things that if you throw them through, you get nothing back. But if you take the Lexica Botania and you throw that through, you get another one. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't look any different, I don't think. But if you open it up, Elven Guard, we actually got, you know, greetings. We noticed that our portal was open via Link from Another World. That's rather shocking news indeed. And uh, it's just a message from the elves telling you that, you know, they got your book. And then, as you can see, there's a bunch of green th stuff, which is different. So, like, if we go to the here, we see that if we give them living wood, they will give us dream wood. Uh, and you can make dream wood twigs and whatnot. If we give them mana steel ingots or a block, they will give us elementium. Now, the way you get mana steel is you just throw iron into a mana pool, and it makes it mana steel. If we give them mana pearl, we'll get pixie dust. If we give them a block of diamond or diamond, we'll get dragon stone. Uh, nether Quartz will give us Elven Quartz. Uh, mana Glass will get Elf Glass in return. Uh, the Shattering here, this is just explaining, like, you know, they actually put work into it, and it's, like, the lore behind why we have an Elven Portal, but no Elves. And then the Ritual of Gaia, uh, you need a Gaia Pylon, which is Pixie Dust, the Mana Pylons, and Elementium. You set it up like this, you can even visualize it. Uh, and it summons a boss for you to fight. Now, I've seen this boss fought. I will not be doing it anytime soon because I really don't know how well I'll do against that. Uh, it actually tells you common attire for the ritual is an enchanted elementium, a terror blade, and a large assortment of bruise and baubles. Because <laughs> um, what he does is, like, if you have creative mode flight, uh, it'll cancel that. You can no longer fly. Jetpacks will still work against him. 
which is probably the easiest way to do it because he spawns a bunch of enemies as well. And then you have the Ritual of Gaia 2, uh, which requires a uh, Gaia Spirit Ingot. So you get a bunch of Gaia Spirits from defeating the uh, Gaia Guardian, I think it is, in the regular one. And then it's the same thing. It's just in the regular one, you touch a Terra Steel Ingot or Nugget, maybe. I think it's an Ingot to the Beacon after you have it set up and it summons them. This one here, you touch this to it and it summons an even stronger boss. Uh, and then what is this? The relics. Uh, old tale from the high. It says something. Um, the one who rolls the dice of fate is to be rewarded with the gifts of the gods. These so-called relics of the age are recorded, unique and soul bound. See, now I don't know what this means. Because, uh, I mean, rolls the dice of fate. That really sounds like rolling chance cubes. But I don't think that this mod would have been made with those in mind strictly. Uh, but this here's all the alphamancy stuff. But if we go back again, uh, and we go into here we go baubles and accessories, we actually get more stuff. Like we get charm of the diva, because anything that required stuff from them, like the great fairy ring, requires elementium and pixie dust. I don't even know what this does. We got square heads and big flame. Okay. Alongside insight is a power device. When war in the great fairy, will increase the chance. Okay, so if you have a full set of Elementium armor, I don't know if I've said this before, and you take a hit, it has a chance to spawn a pixie that will go after whatever hit you. Then if you make this great fairy ring, it'll increase that chance. And all these rings and that do different stuff. Very few of them actually say what, like you actually have to read the book because if you just go to their thing, it doesn't tell you what they do. Um, most of them I find not very useful. Um... Mainly because of how much mana it takes to keep them in use. So, like, you need mana in a mana tablet, right? And then, on top of that... Uh, if I do that, that'll... Yeah. And then, on top of that... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't find them as useful. So, the mana spreaders... The only real difference, I think, is how fast they'll transfer mana... So as you see, this one bursts a little bit faster. And then there's another, there's one more upgrade to them called a Gaia Spreader. But obviously you need Gaia Spirits. And to get Gaia Spirits, you need to fight the Gaia Guardian. Uh, which obviously I'm not going to be doing this part at least. There we go. So uh, now that we have the portal open, uh, we have our new Spreaders. Uh, you can also make more flowers now. Like, uh, after you open up the portal and you throw the book through it, it gives you so much more stuff to make, uh, including some stuff that we could have made ourselves before because we have the Elementium chickens. Because, uh, like, obviously you're not supposed to be able to get Elementium before you get the portal open and whatnot, so I think, like, uh, the maximum distance where it can break or place it. Yeah, so far reach it just increases how far you can interact with stuff uh, But if we go back generating floor see now like we can get a dandy life yawn uh, What is this Conway's game of life A 12 25 by 25 square centered around the dandelion itself Well, the flower has a red twice every second. It'll step the game once Okay. Block that in that position is a cellular block. Or dead if it's anything else. Neighbors are the eight blocks in the same plane. Wow, alright. So I don't know what the fuck that is. Because I don't know what Conway's game of life is. So I'm not even... I might look into that later and build it because it sounds interesting. But I think this one here, the Spectralis, right? It eats colored wool. Uh, I don't think it matters what. Oh, okay. Starting at white after it absorbs one piece of wool, it'll rotate to the... Oh, okay, so it needs... Uh, so you would need every color of the spectrum to make it. Now, as far as I know, this here, I think, is the best flower for generating magic or mana. But obviously, it requires a fuck ton of wool, colored wool, uh, preferably sheep. 
So, like, if you could get multiple colored sheep and something to auto shear them, it would work really well. And then if we go into here, into the functional ones, we have the boobell. Man, it will have stuff great. Yeah, this one here, you can place it underwater and it'll actually create a dome of air for when you want to uh, build under the water. It would really freaking help. And then, let's see. Yeah, then you get a bunch of new ones of those. Uh, what is the natural habit? Brewing flask, conjuring with mana. Oh, here's the conjuration thing. Uh, Catalyst also exists for conjuration. The magic material reads for magical energy only. The mechanism works similarly. Tosses an item into a pool with a catalyst blow. So here, if we make another alchemy catalyst, we can make this. I'll probably do that next time. And then, yeah, it it's basically a duplicator. And then, obviously, depending on... 10 times zoom? Oh, okay. So that's how, and then it shows you how much mana. So you need at least one of the items, and it probably doesn't do it for everything, but as you can see, it will duplicate stuff for you. Um, now, I don't know if those are the only things it can duplicate or not, but it would be very weird if it was. Uh, I don't know what a crafty crate is either. Mana storm, charge, spectral platform, what the hell is that? Uh, let's anything go through it, regardless of their position. All right, whatever. So, yeah. yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of stuff. There's more <laughs> weapons and shit. Like, you can get a flare chakram now. Uh, what the hell is an extrapolated bucket? Okay, so it's a cleanup tool, then. That is actually rather, wow, that would actually be really neat. Uh, and then you get a bunch of rods and whatnot. Like, the rods are the staffs that you can use to do different stuff. A lot of it's very neat. I might go through it another day. Uh, I'll just toss those in there for now. Uh, and see what would be, like, the best things to build. While we're here, we may as well throw down our pure daisies. Which, from there... I mean, got three left. Ah, fuck it. They can go in the box, too. I'll figure out how to place those a little bit better next time. Okay. So, we now have our portal open. We got our spreaders upgraded. Uh, I can't believe I fucked up that 11 by 11 area. I thought that it was too big of an area, and I was right. So, for rings, we need those. So now the reason, so like if we go into here, right, and we click on this, we get baubles, right? So you can put on two rings, there's a neck piece, a head piece, a belt, uh, the shield's just like your normal offhand. I don't know what that is or that. I don't know what either of these two do. Um, but the thing we're going for, and I think I needed a mana tablet to make it, is if, and I think I remember how to make it as well, if the game will let me, and then you stick the mana tablet there. There you go, you get a band of mana. And if you take a band of mana, and you add a tear steel ingot to it, you get a greater band of mana. Now what I didn't realize is that it actually used the mana tablet to do that. So we will just go over here and grab a diamond. And make another mana diamond. Uh, now the reason I'm doing this, Oh, actually, you know what? Shit. Well, you know what? I need two. Because there's no point in making the rings if I don't actually have a mana tablet to use them with. Okay. Because the reason I'm doing this is because it makes it significantly easier when you want to use the wands in that. Like, I'm not going to make any wands this time, but next time I'll probably look up some of the wands and see which ones would actually help. So we'll do that. Ah, eh, fuck it. We'll just do it in here. Why not? Okay, I did get it. Okay. And then I need some living stone. See? Good thing that I spent all that time making a fuck ton of this. So I do that. And then I need two of them. So I'll do that. Oh, That's fine. So I make the band of mana. Turn into a greater band of mana. Okay. So now, if we go into our baubles, and I slap those bad boys on... So, and then actually if we go into inner arts, sure. Go into here, back up, uh, baubles. There you go, the band of mana. <sighs> Function similar to the tablet, used to make could be worn as bobble, used to tear steel, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, wait. Mana tablet with some mana steel creates an easily worn ring that functions exactly similar to the tablet used to make it, but can be worn as a bauble. Oh, I don't think these are what I thought they were. Shit. What the hell were the ones I was thinking of then? Correction Crota, Mantle, Far Reach. In either that or else they changed these. What is Bandabora? Uh, see, I wanted the Band of Aura, not the Band of Mana. Which is pretty much the same thing, except exactly the opposite. Okay, so, I didn't actually realize that those rings did that. Uh, so what these rings do is that apparently they act exactly like a mana tablet, which I didn't know. Which allows, so like if you wear two of those, because the more mana tablets you have, the more mana you hold on you, that's all it is. So if you have those, then they're not taking up inventory space. The one I wanted is the Band of Aura, but since we don't have any runes, we'll see how fast everything else goes, and then if I have time, I'll make those. Uh, so until then, I will toss the living rock in there. I'll toss my mana tablet because it's empty in there, so I don't need it. I'll keep this on me just in case. Okay, so let's see what's next. Next is the brewery, which requires this stuff. And then I'll need this because that is for the Teru Teru Bozu, which sounds really weird, but it'll make sense once we're there. And if you're wondering how I got sunflowers, if you go to the alchemy catalyst you can change any flower into any other flower almost uh you just need to throw it in there and it cycles through them all so to make the brewery which is a magic thing brewery there we go it looks really cool too uh you need a brewing stand a rune of mana a block of mana steel and six living rock so uh, i actually need that living rock back so the way you get the Rune of Mana is you need one, two, three, four, five Mana Steel and a Mana Pearl. So that's why I have these with me. Now hopefully these spreaders will reach that far, but once again, I don't know if they will. Let's see, will it reach? Uh, it looks like it does. Okay, but now I need some shit to burn. Uh, I'll go see if we have any coal cope then. I did not, for some reason, think of that. Uh, so I'll probably make some more runes of mana after. Uh, since I'm actually going to show it this time anyway. So apparently it's stopped raining because the rain stick kind of went away. So that's good. Okay, so now let's see here. Ah, oh, dude, we got seven. That's way, way more than enough. So need that. I also need some cooked chicken. I finally ran out of roasted corn. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, and I found that I, for some reason, had a fuck ton of cooked chicken in the chest. I don't know where I got all that from, because I would have figured that I had eaten that already, but I guess not. Uh, still disappointed that the, uh, cake for some reason doesn't stack in this mod. Okay, so the runic altar here, it doesn't store, uh, mana like anything else does. Okay, so... There you go. What you do is you throw it all on there and then you'll see that it has a little X there. Which means that it doesn't have, which means it has all the right ingredients. But it doesn't have enough mana to make it. So now this will start shooting mana into it. And then you'll see that the rune is starting to turn green. That means that it's filling up with mana. And, uh, actually... I'll have to grab some more living stone here anyway. Or living rock. Because what happens then is you watch it fill up. And once it's full, you need to toss a living rock onto it. To act, because this here is basically forming the rune. And then the living rock is what the rune gets planted into, I guess. Is what they're going for. For it. Uh, so, all the runes take different stuff. And actually, while that's going... We will look them up. Now this should bring up, yeah. It also brings up like the blood magic, oops. The blood magic and the, the void stone stuff. So we have rune of water, fire, earth, air, spring. So like if we start with water, you see it takes fishing rod, sugar cane, stuff like that. Rune of fire, nether wart, gunpowder, nether brick. Rune of earth, uh, air, 
and you'll see like each one takes different stuff based on what it is. So like the rune is, and then you see like the rune of summer takes rune of air and earth. Uh, so I think the fire, the water, fire, earth, and air are like the base ones, which is why you actually get two every time you do it. And then most of those go into making stronger runes, except for the rune of mana, obviously. Uh, rune of lust, for some reason, gluttony. Oh, look at that, we have the seven sins here for some reason. I think I saw it, yeah. So see, now that's done. So we toss that on top, and then we right click. Uh, oops. Okay, there we go, now it's on top. We right click, and boom. Drop pop candy, sure. And now we have a rune of mana. All right, so now that we have the rune of mana, we can make a brewery, which requires the six living rock, the brewing stand, the rune, and the block of mana steel. And then we get this really cool fucking looking thing here. Uh, where the hell should this one go? Here, we'll stick that one right there. Now this doesn't look like much. Uh, I'll admit, it looks kind of weird. Oh shit, I also just realized that all this mana is now going to waste. There we go. Because that's still fucking full. <coughs> so now, the thing about this, right, is it makes brews. Like, you can make the... Uh, okay, where the hell is the... Uh, whoop. Potions. It has. It makes different potions, basically. It makes stronger potions, but I don't remember what they're called. Uh, let's see. Where is the Alphamancy Ender artifacts? Um. Let's see where is it? There's also a thing called an Overgrowth Seed, which apparently, if you use it on the flowers. It will, they'll function at double the normal speed. So, like, uh, they'll give their mana, they'll burn through it faster. Uh, which would be really helpful, but there's no real way for me to get it in a Sky Factory world since it's a Void world. The only way for me to get it is from a Legendary Loot Bag. Uh, so if we come across those, it'll be really nice. And hopefully, maybe I'll make that, or maybe when I make that other thing that duplicates items, it'll duplicate that. But I don't know if it'll do that. Uh, let's see, is it not part of this? Where are the Ender Artifacts, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, Natural Apparatus. Botanical Brewery. Brews are varying to potions. Brewery Vials. The Brew of Fleet. Yeah, see, they're called Brews. So anyway, basically... They're a little bit stronger, I believe, than, like, the normal potions. Uh, they require a vial or a flask, apparently. And then you just throw some items on it. And it works the same as the rest of this stuff, where you throw items on it, and the items actually appear on, like, the little platforms that spin around it. And then you throw a vial or a flask on it. You point a spreader at it, and it makes a bunch of stuff. Now, the neat thing about that is there is a charm it's not called a charm is it nope damn it uh so they don't really show up under bruise eh uh what about flask okay so there's the flasks uh vials there you go there's vials there you go so vial of vigor fleet speed fire resistance uh, and like I said, as far as I know, all they are are just better versions of the regular potions. I don't really know how much better they are. Uh, now what the... God. So the best necklace thing that I found in the baubles and accessories in that, uh, is... Where is it? The Tainted Blood Pendant. Because what it is, is you use that instead of a flask or something, and it'll infuse a potion effect into it. And it'll slowly drain your mana to use that potion effect. Uh, as long as it's a potion effect that's over time, like you can't put instant health or anything into it. Now, as you can see, it's very easy to make, but the reason I'm not going to bother is because, unfortunately, it drains the mana constantly, even when it's not needed. So, like, I thought that I would use it in my other world to uh, speed up my blood magic stuff, and I'd put, like, a potion of regeneration in it, right? But it drains a significant amount of mana when you do that. 
Okay, so now the last thing that we're making for the Botania is the Teru Teru Bizu. Bozu. Bozu. Uh, which requires two Mana Weave and a Sunflower. So the way you make Mana Weave is with four Mana Infused String. As you can imagine, you get that by throwing String into a Mana Pool. So I'll make those two. Make that. Sunflower. Boom. We now have a Teru Teru Bizu. Uh, you know what? I'll just use that up. This can go back into there. Uh, why not? I'll just try and fill up these front ones. Now you might be wondering, why would you want this, right? Well, this, similar to the rain stick, uh, can get rid of bad weather. So let's see, the rain stick isn't on right now, which means that it's not like that. Okay, so if we, hey, you wanna, okay, he spins. So the Terra Terra Bizu, what he does is he will detect when bad weather is coming and if it's raining or snowing or something and you give him a sunflower, it'll make it sunny again. Now, I don't know how much he can change weather. I don't know if maybe giving him something different will like make it rain or something. I'm not 100% on that. I don't think so though. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff in here. We have flux plugs, we got all of this and then we have all of this stuff down here. So I've made it so that I made as much as I could of everything. Uh, and I'm basically, I'm going to walk you through how absolutely shitty uh, making solar panels is in this game. Or making advanced solar panels is in this game. But let me grab that. Yeah. So what we need first is we will need the solar, pa the solar threes that we've already made. That I've already made. Uh, now I guess technically we, I think I have an extra two of these in the chest. Uh, but since I already had the four here, it's to make a point. So now that we have the solar threes, we're going to make solar fours. So if we type in solar, go to four, it takes two, or it takes four solar panel threes three photovoltaic cell twos, a clock, regular basic Minecraft clock, and a block of iron. So we go in here, we have the block of iron, and we have all of this. Now, to make a photovoltaic cell two, it requires a photovoltaic cell one, two mirrors, three lapis, and three clay to make one, and you need to do that three times. You can see why I'm annoyed at this already. And then there we go. Now we have two solar fours. Now to make solar five, we need four solar fours, which means you need to make solar one eight times to make solar two, or no, 16 times to make solar two, two more times. Nope, four times. Fuck me, you need so much. I can't, oh, fuck, I keep forgetting. Because, like, it wouldn't be so bad if everything produced two, but it doesn't. And like if everything produced two and then took four, it wouldn't be too bad. But solar one only creates one. Solar two takes eight solar ones. And then everything past that creates two and takes four. So to make solar five, you need four solar fours, three photovoltaic cell threes, two or a glowstone and a block of gold. So if we look in here, we have a block of gold, a glowstone. We have two more solar fours because I planned that in advance. So then if we look to make a photovoltaic cell three, you need three glass, three glowstone, a photovoltaic cell two, which we just made. So you need to do those again uh, and then two obsidian. So yeah, not only do you have to make the solars themselves multiple times, you have to make the photovoltaic cells even more times. It's absolutely ridiculous which is why I did it all off camera, because even though I did it all off camera, this is still gonna take a while. So there we go, we now have two solar fives. So now to make solar six, it requires four solar fives, so you'd have to go through from solar one all the way back up to five again, just to make two more. A block of diamond, a redstone lamp, and three photovoltaic cell fours. So if we go in here, we have all this down here, boom. Now, to make a photovoltaic cell four, you need a, a photovoltaic cell three, 
two blocks of quartz, another block of diamond, two glowstone dust, and three blaze rods, and that makes one. So you need to do that three times overall to get as many photovoltaic cells as you need. And like I said, it takes another block of diamond, the redstone lamp, and the four solar fives that we made before, and then you get six. And then for seven, you need dragon's breath, which is why we're not going there. But that gives us four solar sixes, which is really good because they generate 2,048 RFs per tick, and they can hold 32 million, which is a shit ton and way more than I'm currently using on anything. But there's no point in putting all of those on top of my cloches because they don't use anywhere near that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these flux points, which receive energy, and we're going to take all of this stuff here, and I'm going to show you how to do wireless energy, and we're actually going to use our platform over there. It's going to look dumb because of how I'm going to set it up, but that's what we're going to do. But first things first, before we do that, is we are going to come back over here and take out a couple of the uh, the energy pipes because they won't be needed soon. So we'll take one from here. We're going to take one from each. Uh, and if it looks dumb after we get everything set up, uh, I might end up making more and putting them back. There we go. So I also found out, I also found out, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before, if you go into a menu somewhere, you get a m options maybe? No. Oh, fuck, I don't know how to do it. There's like a magnet mode that you can turn on, but I don't know where the option for that is. And all it does, as far as I know, is it just increases the range of that you pick up items. Now there are baubles for that as well that you can make with the magic. There are, there's like a ring of magnetism that you can use and it's like a machine machinery thing and whatnot. Um, and it would all be very useful, especially in a Sky Factory world, because then like when you break something over the void, you would still pick it up, like you'd be guaranteed to pick it up. Whereas as it stands now, you have a chance to pick it up basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to do wireless energy, which requires flux points. Now, as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff here. I've already made flux points that receive energy, but we need one that sends energy. To do that, we need four flux cores and a flux block. Now to make a flux block, you need five flux and four flux cores. Now why you would need flux cores to make a flux block, I don't know. Now the way you make flux, as you can see, I already have five. Uh, is you take redstone, it's real simple, surprisingly. I don't know why I have stone in there. And you just toss redstone into a furnace, and it creates flux. Uh, so we'll watch this one pop. And boom, we have flux. Okay, so we go back to our send energy. And since we already have enough flux, we make the flux block. Now to make this, we need four more flux cores. To make four flux cores... And you actually make four at a time, you need an Eye of Ender, four Obsidian, and four Flux. As you can see, I already have the Flux cores. So we'll do that. Boom. Now, to make a, the receiver, like I have there, you need a block of redstone and four Flux cores. I also... And now, as you can see, I don't have any more Flux cores, and that's because I was waiting for that. There we go. So we need a flux cores, we get four of them, and then we make a receives energy. There we go, now we have four of those. So now we will take our solar and our energy points here. We will go over here. And yeah, I made this all out of seared stone because I could not think of something. So we will take the flux plug, which sends the energy, and we will try and center it like that. Now, if you click on it, it says, please select network, create a new network above. Um, create a new, click create a new network above. Here we go. So we'll just leave it as Pally Silver Stars Network. Uh, it gives you color, whatever, makes no difference. Since I'm the only one here, I'm the only one using it. If you're playing on like a public server or something, you definitely want to do more with that. Uh, and then here, uh, click edit network. Here we go. Uh, access setting private, restricted, public. Because once again, I'm the only one here, so it doesn't make a difference. 
so as you can see, I have one plug, which is the one here. Uh, network connections, it's not connected anywhere. Okay. So now from there, we will do this. And we will place our solar panels on top. Boom. Now, if I click on it, it should tell me that I have... Where's my connections? Okay, so max send receive transfer, right? Because there's nowhere for it to be sent to right now. But that's fine. Okay, so now all four of these solar panels will sit there and they will all send energy into the flux plug. So now if we take our receivers and go back over to our uh, cloches, which, by the way, I have decided to put a nature essence cloche in. I think I did that in between parts. I got my draconium one running. As you can see from here, I have my storage drawers up and going, and I've been breaking them down. So, like, the, uh, the nether essence one, obviously we have soul sand being generated already. So, I took all of it, and I started making nether rack and nether bricks out of it, which is the only thing I can make out of it that I can't already make. As you can see, I've made some progress in my inferium. Uh, and then from the uh, dirt ones, obviously I made dirt and I made pod saw, which you can make. From the ice ones, I made snow, ice, and packed ice. Uh, from the Now the black quartz doesn't actually work. You have black quartz essence, but you can't actually turn it into essence. So what I did is I took out, I saw how many, reg, like I took the, uh, like if we go into quartz, you can see that you make it in like an eye shape with nether quartz essence. But then if we go into black quartz, you'll see that there isn't actually a way to make it out of essence. So all I did is I took out quartz. I made as many eye shapes as I could with it. And then for every eye shape I made, I took out 12 black quartz. Uh, so that's why we have full of that. Draconium we got. Uh, as it turns out, when you dig up potatoes, you actually have a chance to get a poisonous potato, which I didn't know. So that's neat. But a lot of stuff you can make with dirt essence. You can make different kinds of ground. Uh, now, did I put that? But you need nature essence to do it, and it's like a combination of those. So now, if we climb up here, and we slap down a flux point in the middle, click on it, please select the network. There we go. Now it's part of Pally Silver Star's network. So if we check it, there we go. It should now be generating power. Yeah, that's how many are connected. Plugs, points, max or send, max receive, network buffer. I don't know exactly how any of this stuff works. Allowed players, yeah. Access any private. Um, I don't know if it's actually working or not. Let's see. I mean, the power's full. But then again, none of this stuff is actually being used right now because it's all full anyway. So here, we'll throw another one up here. Mainly because I think I have, like, all the drawers are full of that one. So we'll pull out the Draconium Essence here and see if the power drops at all or not. Oh, I guess it would right now. Oh, no, I need the uh, plug. Please select the network. There we go. There it should be part of that network now, which has three plugs. And it is receiving. So I don't know if there's a way to like increase the amount that they send or whatnot. Uh, so as you can imagine, though, we have a fuck ton of seeds from these. And I, I saved a stack of each seed in the chest over here. That I have in the center. I have a stack of each seed. Uh, just in case. Um, but obviously we don't need it. Because we never use the seeds. Uh, after we first plant them. Especially in like the cloches. Because there's no point. Uh, but I, I like that they have wireless power. Because it lets you. So like. I realize right now it seems pretty dumb. To have all that. To have that giant platform just for the solar but in the future we will have different ways to produce like if i ever figure out how the nuclear reactors work 
and that I will be making new things in the future to that generate power and it'll all be connected up to the plug. So now I think everything should be running. Now obviously all this stuff is full anyway. Uh, but I will be going through it. I mean it's still full. And it's nighttime. So I mean the fact that it's still full means that this thing must actually be receiving. Oh, there we go. See, look at max receive. It's going up. Okay. So I'm assuming that these then the max receive. Oh, it's really hard to click them from down here. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. So I'm assuming that's because the solar panels were charging then. And like the plug itself wasn't getting very much for power. Uh, but yeah, after this part, while I'm trying to figure out what we'll do next time, uh, I'll probably end up filling up more of the drawers, doing more of the nature essence. The essence stuff really fills the drawers fast. Like, I played this for, I think, one morning after I recorded the next part, and I filled up pretty much everything that I could use essence to make. Because it's just absolutely ridiculous how much you get for the little bit of essence. So I think that was everything on our list. Upgrade power, wireless power, or upgrade solar, yeah, okay. So we did everything on our list, so we'll go do a quick check to see if we got any more legendary loot bags, and then we are close enough to an hour that I think I will call it there. Our tank is about half full from all the coal, coal coke that we're making. Check this, we got a legendary loot bag in there, and the fact that it's not moving means that, nope, okay, I honestly thought it would be stuck. Or no, wait, did I, yeah, okay, so I made a filter on here that has all the loot bags except for the legendary ones, so the legendary ones should never come out of there. Good god, game. Okay, I need to fix this immediately. Okay, so from that, and I just have, okay. Okay, so all of this. I really need to figure out how the uh, oh, in there. how the uh, Ender IO ones work. The uh, uh, filters, because it is just absolutely insane that I can't filter. I don't need potions of healing. That I can't filter out items because they have like different durabilities on them. I don't know why that's. A thing. I imagine that that wasn't intentional. Is that actually like a perfect pair of golden boots? Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, like, I highly doubt that it was intentional by them to make it so that it wouldn't filter. Oh, do I, need, I don't need those enough to, uh, to filter out, you know, damaged items like that. I imagine that's just how they built their filters that did it. Those, those, that, that. Oh, full up again. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I really do because I don't know how they work and if somebody could tell me I would be extremely grateful because like I said, I tried to look it up online and nothing I found gave me any real information on how they were supposed to work. Uh, I'll take that since I already have some. Take the bat bag out. I still don't know how we got the wither skeleton skull because I don't know what could have spawned in there to do that. Okay, so get rid of those. There we are. Okay, now let's open up our legendary... Also, why the hell do I have a dead bush? I don't know why I have that either. Okay, legendary loot bag. We got a pair of diamond pants. Which I don't need. But I think, you know, I actually think I got a diamond chest plate out of one as well. So I may actually have way... like I may have like half a set of diamond armor already just from loot bags. Uh, which is neat, uh, but obviously since I'm very careful about, uh, yeah, there you go, diamond chest piece. Since I'm very careful about what, where I build stuff and I make sure to keep my, uh, platforms all lit, you know, uh, okay. Oh, you can't actually walk through that guy. He's like a little, I forgot that I had put him there. But yeah, alright, that has been... Minecraft Sky Factory fixed up our Botania section, put a couple more things up. Uh, not only that, we have our new solar farm of sol of four solar panels. Uh, 
So the main reason why I haven't decided, like I haven't decided yet when I'm going to fight the dragon. Because I kind of want to wait until I get to fusion crafting. Because then I think, actually, you know what? I don't even know if I need that. Because if we got, uh... So, like, you can make draconium stuff, right? Like, draconium armor. So, let's see. Yeah, but you need fusion crafting for it. Uh, what does it take for a draconic energy core? Wyvern energy takes draconic cores. Okay, so it doesn't look like I actually need... Because there is stuff... Because you get draconic, and then I think... Uh... There's something that you need. Okay, so you need nether stars for it. Yeah. But I think I can make the wyvern armor without that, right? Because it doesn't require fusion crafting, and I don't think any of it takes. Ah, oh, no, it does take nether stars. Never mind. Because I was really hoping to get that, so we might. I might just hold off until I get enough shit to make uh, the supremium armor. And then once I can make the Supremium Armor, I think we'll go and we'll fight the dragon. Because then that'll get me the dragon's breath that I need for the uh, next tier solar panels, which will be useful. And then we can start doing fusion crafting because it requires a lot of that. It requires a lot of stuff from the dragon. And not only that, it requires a lot of stuff from the wither. So we will also need a wither killer, but to make the wither killer properly you need a bunch of stuff from fusion crafting which means you need to fight the dragon but that'll all be far in the future what we'll do next time i have no idea but we will just have to wait and see we have a lot of stuff to work on and i mean we're not even done with our platforms yet we still have one empty space there that's going to be set aside for blood magic if i can figure out how i'm going to build it because unfortunately, blood magic has a lot to do with just giant squares. For like all the shit that gets built. So, until then, I will see you next time.